Right guys, I'm back from London Film and Comic Con and what a great afternoon and morning that was. I really had a great time at London Film and Comic Con. Saw some great costumes, saw some great pops and some great people there. Really, really did. It's a great atmosphere and if you've never been before, make sure you check it out next year. It always takes place at London Olympia in the last weekend of July. So I really had a good time and shout out to London Film and Comic Con. Check it out. It's a great day out. And um, guys, I'm now going to show you the haul. I've got a few different bits and pieces for London Film and Comic Con and I'm going to bring it to you and show you guys what I managed to pick my first thing guys you might have saw me buy it in the video and i picked up this tom riddle pop from the new harry potter wave now this is a really nice looking pop i really do like this particular one i collect the harry potter pops as you know if you follow this channel and um, tom riddle is one of the ones from the new wave i definitely wanted to pick up so i'm really glad i managed to do that so i'm really glad i managed to pick him up i think he's a really good buy and i've picked him up for 10 pounds so i'm really really pleased with that next up guys i picked up this exclusive um see-through golem this is a golem for when he has the ring on and he goes trans Transparent. There's a Frodo one of this pop out there as well, and I do have that. So I really did want the Golem one. I picked this up for £12 from the Forbidden Planet store. It normally goes around £15.99, £16. So I think I did a good job of picking that up for just £12. And I'm really pleased to have it in my Lord of the Rings collection. What do you reckon of my t-shirt, guys? I'm going to ask you guys. It's Rick and Morty t-shirt. There it is. Look. Uh, it says, Peace Among Worlds. And it's uh, Rick and Morty flipping people off. So what do you guys think of that t-shirt? Let me know in the comments below. And it wouldn't be a convention, guys, without me picking up some of the latest pops of the 2018 Summer Conventions exclusives. I I managed to bag this for £17, which I think is quite a good deal. It's the only Elitar Rail from Game of Thrones. I managed to pick that up for £17, and I think that is an absolute bargain. This is brand new out, a Comic Con exclusive for the Game of Thrones. Well, as soon as I saw it, I asked how much. When they said 17 I said, I'll have that. I'm definitely taking it. This is a must have for my Game of Thrones collection, and obviously a must have for any pop collector at the moment because we're all hunting down that little sticker. So I'm really pleased to have this one in my collection, and it's not the only. 2018 Summer Ex Convention exclusive pop I picked up. Guys, I also picked up this 2018 Summer Convention exclusive Star Wars Cad Bane. Now, I love the packaging on this. I love that yellow, the new yellow theme they're doing for the Star Wars packaging, I think is fantastic. And there's Cad Bane there. I'm gonna shield the light so you can have a good look at him. Uh, yeah, really nice looking pop there. Not much art on the box, not much going on. But I love the colour scheme and I think this is a great pop, again, from the same stall for £17. I didn't catch any of this in the video because when I saw them, I didn't have my camera out. I sort of film and then buy. So um, I saw this and I thought I'm having that. So pick that up for £17. And guys, my last of my 2018 Summer Conventions exclusive, I picked up this two-pack from Stranger Things. It is Billy and Karen. This is a really great set. I picked this up for um, £25. Uh, it's a bit more expensive than I would like to pay, but I was really pleased to have it. As soon as I saw it, I got it from the Forbidden Planet store. I thought I have to have that. I collect Stranger Things. I nearly have all of them. And I thought to myself, I'm definitely picking this one up. It's a great looking piece. Two pieces there with a convention exclusive sticker. And I think this is only going to become harder to find uh, the later in the year we get. So I'm really, really glad I managed to pick that up. And guys, last but not least, I picked up this pop, which is a grail pop for myself. It's not in general, but this is something I've wanted for a long time. I do collect these Adventure Time pops and I've been after this for such a long time. I got it for £15 in a pop protector and I couldn't have been more pleased. I got the Gunter Pop. There he is. The Adventure Time Gunter Pop. And I think this is fantastic. I really like Gunter. And um, he's one of my favourite characters on Adventure Time. And I've really wanted this for such a long time. When I saw it, he said £15 because it had some minor box damage up in the top corner there. But I'm not really bothered about that. I just really wanted him in my collection. He came in a pop protector and I'm really, really pleased. And I've, I'm so glad I've got this pop, guys. So that was my number one favourite pop I picked up at Comic-Con and well worth the trip for me. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I went around the whole convention and I really did enjoy myself and I picked up some great pops. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the convention. If you saw anything you thought, wow, you should have picked that up. Let me know the, Let me know what you think about the stuff I did manage to pick up and if you thought it was cool or not because I think I did get quite, I didn't go mad and spend loads of money and buy loads of stuff but I think I got quality over quantity for sure and uh, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button as well on this video guys. I do really appreciate that reviews will come of those pops that I picked up today and don't forget to hit that subscribe button most importantly guys it really really helps me out this channel is growing and I thank you all for um, all your views and all your subscribing and uh, make sure you hit that notification bell as well I really do appreciate it follow me on Twitter Instagram and Facebook I really appreciate that as well and until next time guys bye bye